Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the uh, March 11th Select Board meeting. Now it's time to continue our discussions of budgets. And we have the library up first. Come on up. Oh. Just hanging out up here. Yeah. This is my first time doing you have this. A seat. Seat too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have a, I have a, a couple of, um, I got some uh, details of the that we're requesting. Um, I'm going to pass these down. That is for the uh, staffing and this is for the yourself to everybody who oh, hasn't sorry. seen you. Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Patrick Perezzo. I'm the uh, director of the Goodman Library. And you're welcome. Thank you. Relatively new director, right? Yeah. It's been yeah. uh, how new. long? Yeah. Uh, November. Okay. Since November. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so if you'll, the, uh, the longer sheet, the uh, legal sheet here with the uh, overall budget, the, the number that we uh, were hoping for was um, $200,725, which is essentially for um, level service. Um, essentially, we are, um, well, we have, in light of the fact that my position is um, paid significantly less than my predecessor, we've had the ability to add part more part-time staff um, and pay them appropriately for the work that they do. Um, in the last few months, we've added uh, a young adult services coordinator, um, a, a circulation assistant, and a library page, essentially a shelter, an after school position. Um, and that's, we've done that essentially with the difference between my predecessor's salary and, and mine, as well as the fact that my position when I vacated it was not replaced. This is what we did with that, with that money. Um, so we have, we now have, uh, including myself, seven people on the staff, and we essentially are asking for um, a little less than what we asked for last year um, to keep doing what we're doing. You can probably just stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> we did build up. The one issue is on the VADAR sheet. It doesn't have the COLA in it. The 197, so that the the, the number on this sheet does have cola in it. I know that David, you had said that. That's how we put it in without cola, and then we wait to find that out. So the budget that we got in our materials is not the number that he's yeah. giving us. So these are the materials we just got in our email. We just got them. Yeah, we just got these right now. No, I'm saying we got sent the budget that says 195,467 in the materials. Right, but so that's without the cola. Okay, but we don't have these numbers that you're talking about right now. They they were submitted to uh, to David and the board. We were asked to submit the number through Vadar, the 195,000, the 195, uh, which was. Um, everything level funded. It funded the same as last year. We were asked to submit separately a 2% uh, COLA and also 2% COLA plus a step increase. But the VADAR doesn't allow, uh, I suppose VADAR doesn't allow us to put those three different scenarios. And we don't have that one. information. 
We're over the finance committee, so that's yes. where we're interested. Yeah. Okay, I'm so that's that's just. Yeah. Yeah. No, did they just hand them to you? No, we don't have. Okay, so every, everybody should have a way to get in there. Everybody should have a copy of the preliminary budget that I that I gave out on January 21st. On the preliminary budget on page 69 mm -hmm. is the library uh, budget presented without COLA or uh, or its debt increase, 195.467, uh, decrease of 2.97%. Below that, you should see three positions that are adjusted for 2% COLA and a step in COLA, showing the incremental increases there for each position based upon a 2% COLA and a 2% COLA plus a 3.5% uh, increase by step. So everybody should have that information. Right. Okay. All right, so this information it still doesn't add up to 207 now. When I add 195 plus those additional numbers, I don't get it didn't 207. Say 207. No, no, it was 197. 195. No, it's 297. No, 200. All right, so I don't have that information. That's new tonight. I don't have that. That's what I'm saying. Would you like I to? I don't have it. Oh, here. I'm saying I don't have Take it. Take that one. Yeah. And hey, we don't have it. We don't have it. Why don't we make some copies of this? <laughs> So Actually, you kind of, of do. Yeah. You kind of do out. have it, except it's not laid out the same way they laid it out. Right. Yeah. Just adding the inception. This, this is uh, this is the same as this one, basically. Ours is a little bit. It's just like, it's just broken yeah, apart. It's broken apart. I think there's no. Yeah. It's the library. They're being clear and concise. Yeah, <laughs> So while we wait for um, the copies, did you want to? Could we switch to Allison? And, sure. and then you have questions for us, we'll answer them. Yep. Sure. Um, so I'm Allison Duncan, and I'm a library trustee. I'm the chair of our planning and design committee. Um, we have a couple of meetings every month. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and design committee. Um, and then I'm also the chair of the planning and trying to um, get the community's idea of what they would like for their library of the future. And so the results <coughs> speak for themselves. I don't need to read them to you. Um, one of our big jobs is to produce a building program, which um, is a needs assessment of our current space and a vision for the future of the space that we would need to provide the services to town. So that will be um, ready next month for folks to see. Um, so you'll be getting a copy of that, and we'd like to be able to um, pass that out at town meeting so that the, the entire community can get a look at that. We also um, are putting in an RFQ for an owner's project manager, which we're required to do um, under the terms of the grant. Uh, David Nixon actually has the RFQ um, on his desk now, so um, if anyone has any questions, I'm sure he's probably better able to answer that those details than I am. Um, but that person will be coming on board to help us with the process and one of their jobs will be to help us hire an architect um, to try to translate that building program into actual specifications of what a library um, could have And that was not already funded. That's already funded. Town meeting last May um, passed a matching grant. So half of the money is coming from the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners and the other half is coming from the town. So that's already paid. Does the library board require you have a certified Massachusetts certified Air public procurement officer on the review board for your OPM search committee? So that so we are going to be working with David to get the specifications to review this person. Um, that's a good question. I don't know if he actually has to sit in on the review of the. David might know better than I. Do you know that, David? I'm oh, sorry, say that. Does the review committee for the search for the OPM require that you have a Massachusetts certified public procurement official on it? On the review I'm sure that's on the uh, review board. Yeah. 
We'll have to look in the gray. Right, we can look. I don't know that off the top. We'll look in the gray. Yeah, we'll, we'll check them. Are you going to question? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Why I say that is because I didn't know it was required in a lot of things. And I found out mm -hmm. during the school process that it is required in the school okay, process. Got it. So and then I quickly found out that everyone who thought they were where I worked wasn't what? certified, and the only person who couldn't run away fast enough was mm -hmm. me. Um, so I was interested to find out that they actually do use that certification program for something as the school board uses it, and I didn't know if the library boards use it as well. Um, so I was just curious. Yeah, this is new to us, so we'll look, we'll look that up. We have tons of materials to look through. So. It would actually almost jeopardize the whole process. If we didn't do it correctly. If you did not have that person on board, you would have had to, you would have had to pay for everything you did and had to start all over again. So I just, it is kind Thanks. of a... It's probably worth looking into. Then. It's Definitely. very worth looking into. When, so. David Allison said you have the RFQ right now. I have a draft RFQ for a... Uh, for a uh, FDM. Right. Uh, that was submitted to me and I'm looking it over. Okay. Any idea of the um, <coughs> time frame on that? Probably could get it done by the end of the week. This week. Yeah. And then there's going to be a review committee to review the qualifications. Right. And we're going to set up the specifications so we know what we're looking for. Okay. Well, you guys are moving right along. We're on a time limit, you know, you are. Right. I mean, we because, have two years to do this. Right, we have two years and then hopefully they'll be around the building grant. So it's in our best interest to be ready to go when the grant, building grants, hopefully come out. Right. That was the other thing I found out about the school <coughs> process too. It's very timed. If you don't, if you miss a wigget, That's right. you yeah. fall, fall yeah. behind and you're, you, you get penalized for falling behind. Yep. So is there any other questions about the budget? Yeah, I got I just wanted for the uh, for the budget. You had you got two hundred one thousand four forty one to allocate it for this year. What do you think you're going to end up this year? Any idea? We just talked about this at our last trustee meeting, and um, because Patrick was hired later in the year, and because our hires are later in the year, we had some down space. We are we may have a, a small bit of money to give back. To the town because of that, um, and that is another reason why we kind of kept all of that in mind. Okay. And asked for an so year. you're going to commit a little bit lower, but a lot of your expense that you're realizing now at this last part of the year. Right, like yeah. we just hired our last service system, so there's been a lapse yeah. and of time. So we may have some money to turn, and we have turned back money before. We usually send you a note and explain why that money comes back when we send it back. If we send it back. Thank you. Any other questions for the library? Anything else you wish to tell us? Um, <laughs> what else do I want to tell you? Well, I will tell you. I'm going to tell you what. I will tell you one thing. Um, just to keep in mind, uh, we're we're busier than ever. Uh, in 2014, we circulated 41,143 uh, items. And so. In the month of February, this is like my favorite fact of the month, our circulation was up 20% over this very same month last sure. year. And that's with all the snow days we've had in February. 20% circulation increase. We have lots of fun facts and figures in the building program. We're nice. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.